There are many different types of pulse shapes that are used for binary signaling. I'll begin by drawing the bit intervals and I'm plotting the amplitude as a function of time. T sub b defines the actual time duration for one bit interval. So imagine that the message we were trying to transmit was 010110. This particular pulse shape is referred to as unipolar NRZ. Unipolar means that it is it consists only of zero values and one non-zero value. NRZ is an abbreviation for non-return to zero, meaning during the bit interval the waveform exists at some non-zero value the entire duration of the bit interval. This is an example of polar NRZ. In this case it always exists as some non-zero value, in this case with an amplitude a and then another value minus a. It's nRZ, meaning it does not return to zero. This is an example of unipolar return to zero, or RZ. In this case, during the course of one bit interval, it spends some time away from zero, but then eventually returns to zero. Now polar return to zero would mean that it always spends at least a portion of the interval away from zero. And again, all of these different shapes have various uses for different applications. One other pulse style is called the Manchester non-return to zero. If we consider this particular portion of the signal during the bit interval where we are sending a 1, we see that the waveform is first at a positive value and then at a negative value. The 0 is transmitted by sending first a negative value and then uh, a positive value during that bit interval. And we can think of that pulse really as being simply the negation of the first pulse when we are transmitting a 1. Let me consider the rectangular pulse of the polar NRZ style in just a bit more detail. When we are signaling a 1, we set this up with the particular constant, square root of the energy per bit divided by the bit interval, and that gives us uh, appropriate amplitude scaling. If we are signaling a 0, then we would produce the negated version of that pulse. Now again, the Manchester pulse uses this for its prototype. When we are signaling a 1, we simply generate the appropriately scaled value, and signaling a 0 means that we send the, the negated version of that. So where it's positive, we, we send a negative. Where, it's, uh, where the first was negative, we send a positive.